Five, written by Adrian McGuire. Number two, Shannon Glenn, Michael Bowlby. Three, Imperial Brush, and a change of colours, incidentally, Alan McCabe. Four, Spanish Servant, Jamie Railton. Five, Egypt Mill Prince, Mark Pittman. Six, Boarding School, Brian Story. Seven, Native Mission, Mark Dwyer. Eight, One for the Pot, Graham Bradley. Nine, Rodeo Star, Graham McCourt. Ten, O Virginia, Jonathan Leach. Eleven, Galway Star, Peter Scudamore. Twelve, Bookcase, Anthony Proctor. Thirteen, Marlingford, Derek Morris. Fourteen, Viking Flagship, Richard Dunwoody. And fifteen, the dual course winner, Kibrit, written by Paul Holly. And uh, you'll note that Galaxy High is a non-runner, so 15 runners. Uh, Co-favourites on 7-1, to one, Native Mission and Viking Flagship are the others. 7-1, to one, these three. Galway Star and Egypt Mill Prince, 8-1, to one, same price as Rodeo Star. Jungle Knife and Boarding School, they're 12-1, to one, one for the pot, 14-1, to one, and it's 16-1 to one by these. Steady. The 15 runners under orders for the Tote Girl Trophy of 1992 and racing towards the first flight. And up there with them is Old Virginia, Imperial Brush in the centre and towards the near side Spanish Servant. Viking flagships up there too and it was just Imperial Brush. A mistake there by boarding school in rear but recovered all right. And it's Old Virginia over on the far side, Imperial Brush, then Viking flagship. They're being chased on the far side by Bookcase. On the near side, right up with them is Marlingford. Rodeo Star, not behind, not far behind the lead. And Boarding School, and one for the pot of the two back markers at the moment. But closely bunched up front as they swing left-handed to go out into the country. And a really fast pace on this officially good to firm ground at Newbury. Whereas they race over to the far side, Old Virginia on the inside disputing it with Imperial Brush and Viking Flagship, Spanish Servant on the outside, Marlingford Bookcase just in behind him and then comes Native Mission over on the far side is Galway Star with Egypt Mill Prince. And the back marker is Boarding School. Old Virginia, the leader from on the far side of them but the near side as we see them with this camera Egypt Mill Prince and between horses are Marlingford and Viking Fladchick and Imperial Brush, Kibrit well there on the inside, just in behind them one for the pot and Native Mission behind them Rodeo Star and uh, Shannon Glenn also in rear with boarding school so to the right of the picture one for the pot with uh, next door, Old Virginia. Marlingford uh, towards the left with Egypt Mill Prince Kibrit right up there in the center of the picture. One for the pot over on the far side. Kibrit in the center taking a fractional advantage now from Egypt Mill Prince. Then comes Rodeo Star with the white bridle just in behind them. Uh, Native Mission and uh, the top one, Jungle Knife with still boarding school in rear and Imperial Brush has dropped back as well as they race towards the cross hurdle. Kibrit on the inside. Egypt Mill Prince, Jungle Knife just in behind the lead. One for the pot is still in close contention. Rodeo Star right up with the lead still. Beginning the race round the home turn now. Rodeo Star, Egypt Mill Prince, and then Cabrit. Then Jungle Knife, a native mission making steady progress. But Rodeo Star has the advantage towards the left of the picture from Egypt Mill Prince over on the far side. Just in behind them come Native Mission, still making quite significant progress. Coming down now towards the second last, and as they do so, it's Rodeo Star, Native Mission still making ground. A faller there, incidentally, was Spanish Servant, running down to the second last now. And it's Rodeo Star, the leader, from on the far side, Egypt Mill Prince, between horses, Mark Dwyer on Native Mission, still making relentless progress as they come down towards the two furlong marker. Under pressure, Rodeo Star on the far side, Egypt 
Jack Mill Prince between horses. Lady Mission still making ground. They're coming down towards the final flight in the Toad Gold Trophy. And on the near side, Rodeo Star in the center. Lady Mission on the far side. Egypt Mill Prince. They're racing towards the furlong pole. Egypt Mill Prince on the far side. Lady Mission and Magua challenging. Rodeo Star on the near side between these three. Rodeo Star forging ahead again as they race towards the line. Rodeo Star from Lady Mission. Rodeo Star is going to win the Toad Gold Trophy as they come to the line. Rodeo Star is the winner. Lady Mission is second. Egypt Mill Prince is third and four bookcase and five came boarding school in Marlingford. Behind them, Jungle Knife and one for the pot in Old Virginia. And then Cabrit behind Cabrit was Viking flagship. And then Glenn Shannon and behind him was Imperial Brush. Behind Imperial Brush, Galway Star, who in fact is the last to finish with Spanish Servant, a faller at the third last. And so the result of the 1992 Tote Gold Trophy handicap, first number nine, Rodeo Star, owned by Mr. J.C. Bradbury, trained by Nigel Tinkler, who rode the second in this race back in 1977 on Flying Diplomat, and written by Graham McCourt, his 67th winner of the season. Second was number seven, Lady Mission, owned by Tony Budget, Quine Limited, trained by Jimmy Fitzgerald, and written by Mark Dwyer. And third, number five, Egypt Mill Prince, owned by Mr. S.R. Webb, trained by Mrs. Jenny Pittman, and written by Mark Pittman. Fourth was number 12, Bookcase. First number nine, Rodeo Star, 15 to two. Second number seven, Native Mission, 13 to two, joint favorite. Third number five, Egypt Mill Prince, 15 to two.